Alright guys, so welcome back to part 2 of this web service to, uh, series using JSON. If you joined us last time, you would have seen how far we got. We just had uh, parsed the data from our web service down to the file, into an array, and then it populated the cells with the titles of the URLs. You'll see now in a second. Okay, now of course these aren't doing anything yet because we haven't used the main method for that. Did select for at index path. But first of all, we have to set up a container to hold these images once they've been loaded. So, new file. And you want a UI view controller subclass, UI view controller, no nib because I don't like using the nib. And call it display view controller. Create. Okay, now, the very first thing to do into your H file and declare a few little headers in this URL. Call it URL, and then UI image, image, let's call it image. If you wonder why these are just um, header files and not a property class, because we're not going to assign any memory to these, so we don't need to allocate memory or deallocate memory, they're just going to be pointers. But these now will require memory, not atomic, retain, UI image view, image view, and then property atomic retain and a string URL string. If you wonder why you need a string here, it's because we want to attribute the string from a cell to something in this class to utilize it. You'll see now in a minute. If you watch my previous table view tutorials, you'll see me do something similar. So first things first into your root controller file and import display view controller. And now, down here we go. First things first, detail, sorry, display, display view controller. Let's call it new view equals display view controller, a lock, and then it. Okie doke. Now we also want to set, we want to access that URL string from this class into the next and, as and associate the URL string with what cell we pressed. So new view dot URL string equals what am I say here? It is going to be yeah. Sorry, let's get this centered. Self dot table view cell URL at index index path dot text label dot text doesn't make another error because I pressed this too many times there we go so this means URL string in the display class will now be set to whatever cell we press so we attributed these cells to the, the um, index path of the JSON array all five now it does when we press that cell could have performed this action. So we now want to push this cell to a new, sorry, this string to a new view. So self dot navigation controller push view controller new view animated yes. Now before we even try and run this, there's a few small problems. First of all, we haven't declared anything to hold these objects these pictures even to be here. So first of all, synthesize image view and URL string. And because we're allocated memory, we must release this memory. So image view release and then URL string release. These wouldn't cause memory errors by not releasing, but it's very bad practice not to do this from the start. Okay, zoom clean up, remove these methods. They can all go away. Okay, so now we've declared an image view. So now we have to tell the image view what to be. Image view equals. Of course, I could do that, wouldn't I? Image view equals UI image view. Image view allocate in it with frame. Now CG rect makes will then tell this 
image exactly how big we want it to be. Now zero and zero is going to tell that it's going to be starting the very top left corner, but rather than saying 320, 460, whatever, we're going to let this find out itself how big it's going to be. So self dot view dot size sorry dot uh, bounds dot size dot width. This is very handy for if you have things thrown in like navigation controls or search bars that vary in size depending on the view. This will automatically size into the view. Self dot view dot bounds dot size dot height. And the final screen and brackets and close. Okay, that should be perfect. Very good. Now we have already declared in our header file that we have um, a object URL and image so let's go and make those so URL equals ns URL URL with string URL string very good now image equals UI image 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 with data ns data data with contents data with contents of URL perfect and then URL and one more bracket so we've told our object our URL that it's going to be equal to URL string which has been passed in the previous view and that the image will be what's going to be taken from the URL. So now let's add this to our view. So self dot view add sub view image view in it with image image. So we're adding this image view to our current view with an image taken from an URL passed from another class. So if we build and run, here we go. That was my shark image. Yeah, it's the very first one here you can see shark.png second tree angry monkey the third tree barbecue don't know why it's called barbecue um, fourth should be Halloween yep and then fifth should be crazy eye thingy yeah okay now you might notice that that blue is quite annoying when it appears it doesn't quite disappear just as fast as you want to appear a nice little thing you can put in that makes it go away every time you press faster and a bit more this looks better all around is one simple line of code so all it is is self dot table view do not put this every time d select row at index path index path animated yes so all that does is it makes the blue highlight from every cell you press disappear a bit quicker. It just looks nicer and cleaner because sometimes if you don't properly transition between views, that blue will stay on the whole time. So you just don't see it when you come back into the view after. It just makes it look a bit tidy, a bit cleaner. Okay, so there you go. So, so far we've connected to a web service. We've pulled in an array of images from a web service transitioned into, into a JSON value, put the array into a group of cells, um, put the titles in cells, then pushed from a cell into a new view and displayed something taken from a web service into a new view. So the entire code of this will be on GitHub as well, as well as the two previous versions. And after this, I'll do a bit more advanced version using the connection, the proper connection. This is a very bad way of doing it because this is a single connection. Now it'll work for some things but it's not the best way because it's not testing if the connection is being received it's not handling errors it's not handling the entire download process it's just 
this is a sample version. I hope folks hope you enjoyed it. You'll follow the next few series. Good luck.